Welcome back to the videos everyone. We are on our way to the airport. It's Tuesday. Race day is on Sunday. Looking forward to it. But we've had quite a stressful last day in a bit. We, since, hours. Yeah, stressful 24 hours. Basically, we um, we hired a car. We paid for it like a week ago and thought everything was sorted. And then last night at about 6 p.m., I get an email from the company that we're renting the car from saying, oh, the car's not available, so we've had to cancel your order. Uh, but don't worry, we've got another car for you. And here's the new quote. The new quote was 400 quid more expensive than what we'd already paid for that car. And the car wasn't actually very different, the new one. So I worded quite a strong email to them and uh, had a heated discussion with them on the phone. Um, and they kind of were like, oh yeah, because um, because you want to rent it tomorrow, obviously there's high demand for cars, so the prices have gone up. And I was like, obviously, uh, that's why we decided to rent it like a week ago. Uh, anyway, didn't get anywhere with that, so we've had to cancel that. And then last night, spent hours trying to find a car that was under like 800 quid for 10 days. It was ridiculous. But anyway, we've got everything sorted, we're packed up, we're on our way. I've got my wind sunglasses on. Um, I've packed like four sunglasses this time to make up for last time not having any. I'll probably lose mine. <laughs> We late. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ready? Yeah. We're all packed up. Managed to get the bike bag in suitcase in this small car but actually it's all right quite a tidy little car little Renault Clio diesel gonna rag it around the streets of Portugal joking <laughs> and I think we're both getting a little bit hangry so um are you getting hangry you're definitely getting hangry yeah she's not speaking to me anymore so um we're gonna go and find some food but everything's seemed to be going a little bit smoother today which is good so go get some grub. Eat my pizza. Leftover from last night. It just got so bright. Uh -huh. Rush hour in Lisbon. It's quite stressful. I don't really know where I'm going. And I'm guessing I'm probably in the wrong lane. But, come on. Welcome! <laughs> this place isn't too bad. It smells funny, but... Lots of room for activity. But I like... I like it there. So, no idea if the bike's actually okay in the bag, but... We're hungry, we're gonna probably go and get some food first, but let's have a little quick squiz around. Bathroom, bathroom, light. Hey. Boom. And then bedroom. That bed is very comfy. I know. I can sleep on there too. Sleep on there? Alright, you can sleep on there then. No. So we're staying here how long? We're staying here two nights. Two nights. Two nights we're here. And then we are moving somewhere else to stay with some other people, basically. So yeah, closer to the race start, which would be good. Today, I just thought I'd talk about my race plan going into Portugal. Before I go through uh, what my race plan is, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to all the Patreons who are supporting me through the channel, all the new Patreons that have got on board recently. I appreciate it so much. So shout out to the new Patreons, uh, Silvio Tufa, uh, Ryan Eckert, Joe Skipper, oi oi, <laughs> uh, Stefan Trost, um, Bill Rickman, Billy Gibson, and David Woon. Thank you so much to all of you new Patreons and you existing Patreons as well. I appreciate you so much. The, the support is, is huge. It means, it means the world to me. And 
yeah, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. This race in Portugal is going to be a completely different beast. You know, there's like, there's quadruple the amount of pro athletes on the start line. So it's going to be crazy. I don't know if all of them will show up. Um, I know for certain, like I said in one of my previous videos, Johnny Brownie's definitely going. Aaron Royal's definitely going. I've seen Tom Davis is on the island. Um, who else is going to be here? I don't know. It's going to be big anyway. So there's 60 pro men on the start list. Um, whether they all show up, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to have the same approach to it. I just want to be a bit more aggressive. Um, what I mean by that is not like not annoy anyone else or not like get in anyone's way or be a bit of a dick. Um, just be aggressive in the way that I'm racing and like, kind of like at this point with this many kind of top pros on a course like this that you can't give anyone an inch. And I think that's maybe something that I've I've learned is that, um, you know, in the past I've been a bit more like, oh no, you can, you know, you go, oh no, you can go. Um, and it's just like, actually, no, that's my space. I'm demanding that space. I'm having it. If you want it, you've got to come and take it from me. That's the kind of attitude that you've got to have in these races, I think. And that's kind of the attitude that I'm going into this race with. So in the swim, the swim's going to be full on because there's a couple of ITU boys. So it's going to be quick. But I mean, you know, I swam against Varga last weekend or weekend before that in Lanzarote. And, you know, he was, he did come out of the swim two minutes before me. So I'm pretty much I'm confident that I'm going to be in the chase pack I'd love to be at the back of that front pack and I, I think my swim ability is there um, my, my swim fitness is there it's whether that my swim skill my open water skills and my awareness is there as well so I'm really going to focus on that um, and try and get on those fast feet and try and get in that front pack but if not I'm pretty confident I can be in the second pack the chase pack and then because of the amount of athletes <clears throat> in Lanzarote there are only 14, 15 pros and it, the way the race panned out is everyone was split up on the bike so you kind of just on your own on the bike it was just a, a time trial whereas I'm really looking forward to obviously this amount of pros you're going to have packs and it's going to be good because you're going to have the ability to sit in, to attack people, to work with people, to chase people down also <sighs> when there's bigger packs it can be quite frustrating because it if you're sat at the back of a big pack, it becomes almost impossible to overtake because you can't just overtake one person and slot in. You've got to overtake everyone. So it's going to be a bit of a learning experience, actually, because I've never been in a race with this many pro athletes. So this is going to be quite cool. I'm going to focus on my nutrition, my hydration, make sure I nail that completely because that was something that I really focused on in Lanzarote and it paid so well towards the end of the run. I felt great. So that's what I'm really going to focus on in Portugal this weekend is nailing my nutrition hydration at the same time if I can uh, try and be aggressive on the bike and try and you know put in a few surges and try and just get involved with the pro stuff and not just get pulled along and just just wait for the run I actually want to get stuck in and just like hurt some people <laughs> it sounds horrible but um, you know that's what that's what the racing is all about and um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and get stuck in, see what happens. Hopefully the bike legs show up at Lanzarote, as I mentioned a few times, like the bike legs weren't that great. So I'm really hoping that this week I've done everything right. Or I'm doing everything right to, to lend me, to lend towards having good bike legs. And my goal on the run ultimately is again, be a bit more aggressive, but be strong in the final 5k. That is the only thing I'm thinking of. Be strong in the final 5k because People go too hard. People get carried away. I've done it before. People go too hard. People get carried away. Um, and the final 5K is one of the most painful parts of the race. And that's when most people slow down the most. If you can be strong in the final 5K, wow, you can be you can be a force to be reckoned with. And that is my plan, is to be really strong in that final 5K. Pick off the stragglers and um, finish strong, basically. So... My ultimate goal, like I said, being aggressive, but being hard to beat. And what I mean by that is like just being consistent, not doing anything stupid, not not being too aggressive. You know what I mean? Not putting in these stupid surges just for the sake of putting in surges, you know, being calculated about it and being hard to beat, just being consistent, being constantly there. And I know I'm in a good place. I know I've got the legs. I know I've got the fitness behind me. I just need 
to showcase it on the day. I need things to go well for me on the day. I need to be in a good place on the day to be able to showcase that because I'm really, I am confident and this isn't being cocky. I'm confident that I've got that ability to race at the, the real pointy end of these races. And I just need a day to showcase that I'm capable of that. And I'm hoping that that's gonna be this weekend. If it's not, it doesn't matter. Next year is, uh, is another opportunity and I'll have a whole winter behind me, but it'll be really nice to showcase what I've really got this weekend. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. If anyone else is racing this weekend, drop it in my comment section below. Um, it'd be lovely to meet up with loads of people who watch these videos who are racing as well this weekend. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys out there.